Okay, so this is part four of this video that I'm making. And this one's going to be about my sister. My sister, um, so I think she, I've got, I, I'm, I think it's, it's A.D. Miller. He was, you know, talking about all this, the spiritualists and, and his version of the spiritual realm is when you die, you go into some sort of world where you can contact all the spirits. I mean, that's not my version of spirits. That is not my version of spiritual world. My version of spiritual realm is, um, is, 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 is like memories and well, you, you getting visions of things and okay. When it comes to visions, I think there's two types of visions. There's the visions that might be real, that seem to come out of nowhere. You can't explain it and you don't understand it. And then there's another type of vision, which is, um, where you want something and i feel like if you want something to happen and you get a vision it's kind of like it's probably not true i mean maybe it is you know i had loads of visions of me being on big brother i think that was more a need or a want rather than um rather than an actual vision or something that's going to happen i think the same can be said with, with a lot of the singers as well like some of them I, I relate to because i feel like i'm part of them and some are more just like i want that or i need that i um into the per perfection and something that's like I would like to I would love to be like that but I I'm not really but um so yeah it's, it's like a, a need and want and and, and same with visions and um when it comes to my sister um I so I, I think she's had four lives in the first one I think um she was born to a mum who was a really like a scullery maid but like yeah a really messy drunk she looks like a drunk almost, but it's not. She was just a scullery maid and very low ranking. And her kids, well, any kid that she would have would be even lower ranking. So I feel like this was really the bottom, the lowest. And really, she wanted to call her child lowest, um, Lois, which was like lowest. And I think I think she she did that because she's gone through a life where she was kind of like the lowest in the, in the family. And she was had a pretty shit life. Um, mum bad working you know left alone a lot and and even when she grew up I feel like she was kind of bullied by the owners the children of the family but I think she died probably around 18 or something like maybe maybe 20 but I, I feel like she died and then was given another life but this time the farmer kept having kids the mother kept having kids and she actually came back as um one of the kids of the person who owned that farm so she'd one life is a sort of bottom end scullery maid and then another life is a sort of reward as a reward for that life that she went through full of probably problems and suffering um she she got to be a, actually live in to be one because I, I see a, a scullery but i see her being a milkmaid but in this in this one she looks she looks a lot more um established like 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 this is you know her land and her she, they're working together so they are working the land even, even the children work the land but for like there's one where she had a bad life and one where she had a good life but it was all on the same farm so i kind of feel like it was one life rather than it's like it's like two short lives rather than one long life but and um, so I, I feel like that's one of her and i chose her because she was kind of cute and then i thought i want her to be my sister but yeah because my life is cursed i guess my sister is also gonna have to be a bit of an idiot and a bit of a cursed person and i feel like as a sort of reward for what she's going to go through as a my sister and um is is that she's going to be made a princess so i think she was princess margaret in her third life and is now sophie in her, in her first life when it comes to george i i don't know because i feel like on one hand she he did know her when he was, she, he was Margaret, when she was Margaret, he might have been, she, he might have been the husband or brother or half brother or perhaps both because they married into families and cousins and stuff. So, but I, I do think that they, they were strong and I think that's why they've stayed together for so long because they recognize each other from past life. But on the other hand, I think George is a much faster developer. You know, he's obviously, they were together and they were similar, but <clears throat> he's, elevated um he's not a nice person but he's, he's elevated in in his his ability to knowledge analyze and study and research and and sophie just hasn't she's she's kind of just stayed the state the same um and and yeah so that's that's their lives 
but yeah I, I still think before she was human she was a parrot a lot um but um yes those are and I, another thing I want to say is that woman who I think gave the test and, and failed me on, on lies, I think she was a, a black and white cow in her past life. But I, I wanted to say on, on a video that um, when we were doing this hike, this walk hike with the Ramblers group, um, we came across this group of cows and they were, they were protective of one. And I didn't, we didn't know. I noticed that there was a baby in there. I think there was a mother and a baby. And then there was this group of cows that were all kind of being very protective. And that kind of made me think of that woman because just because you were a cow in your past life, that doesn't mean that um, you're not very good at looking after kids because kid, cows can be very possessive over their kids. Cows can have a very, you know, this is my kid. If you come near my kid, I'm going to beat you. You know, like some, some, some cows can be very protective of their young. Um, so just because she... You know, just because she might have been a might is human in her first life and was a cow in her first life, past life, that doesn't mean that um, she's not capable of looking after kids. I think she she was a very good. I think she is a very good protective, but I feel like it's a very kind of bull bull like protect protectiveness. Um, I was watching when I first um, got to my sister's, turned on the TV, and the first the first film show there was was this monkey program about how <laughs> similar monkeys are to humans. And it was picking up on the behavior of watching monkeys play and say this is just like children children playing um but <coughs> oh, my throat. i was thinking at the back of my mind that a lot of animals display human traits you know there are a lot of people that are like bulls as well a bit dumb a bit stupid make stupid three-page reports of, of saying people are not capable of looking after kids when really they're really keen to have their child you know there's this but they, they are quite, you know, a lot of animals display, can display human qualities, even though they don't, they don't look it. You know, if, if you, um, their vibe, their energy, there's a lot of animals can display human qualities. And then it was interesting because I watched this FBI pro pro program afterwards and I just spoke, I just made a video earlier that day about the guy who I think is Mohammed, um, who was living in fear because he, his dad was extremely wealthy and you know Muhammad doesn't like wealth um he preaches not to have wealth and so that kind of explains why he was spending money like water maybe he was trying to do his dad a favor by not having so much money um and that's probably might be could might have been why he wanted to buy me the phone the 700 pound phone because he, he was trying to get rid of this money he didn't want to have so much money um, he wanted to spread it. And he, I think he also, I remember um, he gave a tip to, um, um, we went into a hotel. Before we went into Cafe, Cafe de Paris, we went into this really posh luxury hotel on Trafalgar Square. And he gave, I'm sure it was a £50 tip. The guy, the porter, opened the door and he gave him like a £50. I was like, oh my God, that's a lot of money. Why are you giving him so much? He didn't do anything. And then he was like, I come here often, so, you know, you have to treat um, people right so they'll remember you. Um, but, um, but yeah, um, I just wanted to say that. And, um, oh, uh, yeah, I said that about the, he, he's, he, he's worried that people, someone might cut his ear off or something. But it was interesting because I went to I watch that FBI film program on that day. Monday, was it? Or was it? Yeah, it was Monday. Um and there was a program about someone being kidnapped and they, they they were threatening to cut off his ear but throughout the whole program they i swear they kept saying that they're gonna cut his ear off they're gonna cut his ear off but yeah that reminds me of, of what happened and then the next day i watched another fbi program the same channel and it was actually about an occult leader um who believed that he was god or something <laughs> um because there's two I don't really watch much TV in Sophie's. Her channels weren't really working. There weren't that many channels working, but that was it. But yeah, when it comes to, yeah, my sister. Anyway, anyway, um, 